A viewer commented on my channel page, he wanted to know if you can create attraction. Well, no, no, it's either there or it's not, but you can create a mystique. Now, I don't want to say confidence because everyone says that. Oh, yeah, just act confident. Yeah, that's easier said than done. But if you create a mystique, I'm telling you, it makes you somehow hard to get. And that is an attractive quality to start because it's also a little bit of game playing. It really is. And so it's not going to last, but it will intrigue the person enough to where if there is a potential relationship, then you're on the ground floor. And again, I'm not for game playing or in any way deceitfulness, but this, that's not this. This is just being a smidge hard to get. It sounds old fashioned, but it works. It works to a point. Like I said, you have to have the, the groundwork for a relationship. So if you can be just a little bit, tiny bit mysterious and not so anxious, because when someone's anxious, it just makes them look like, wow, they're desperate. And why are they desperate? And what's wrong with them? And then all these questions pop up into your mind. So you need to again, be a little mysterious. And how do you do that? By holding back a little bit. Don't spill your guts. Don't put everything out there. Don't look like she or he is just the greatest thing since sliced bread. Have the attitude like, hey, you would be lucky to be with me. And you don't, of course, come right out and say that. But if you think that, it comes across. And it does come across as confident. And then when I say play hard to get, I mean, of course, initiate, initiate a conversation, but don't keep doing that. Just wait, wait until she initiates the conversation with you, either texts you or Facebook messages you. I don't care how it is, or, or just walks up to you at lunch, in the hall, at work. If you just hang back a little bit, but you want to let her know that you're interested. And in that way, be happy, happy to see her, really listen to what she has to say. But then, okay, the ball is in her court. And if she's showing the least little bit of hesitance, like, uh, I'm not so sure that you're right for me. And she doesn't like seem to be really happy to talk to you, then go way back. Really just distance yourself a little bit and be, and have the attitude like, okay, you don't think I'm good enough for you? You're way, way, way not good enough for me. All right. So, and that is exuding a confidence, if you will, and a little bit of playing hard to get without being so, so distant that you drive her away. So that it's like a happy medium, but whatever you do, don't seem anxious. Don't keep texting. All right. It's not going to work. And I get these, these comments. Well, it, how can I make her like me? I'll just keep trying. I'll keep, no, no, because again, that just reeks of desperation and that's what you don't want. So a tiny bit hard to get confidence, keep repeating in your mind. Anyone is lucky to have me and pretty soon you're going to believe it. And you're going to exude, you're going to exude this energy and the people are going to want to be around you.